Hi everyone, welcome to day six of 12 Days of Christmas projects. Sorry I'm a little bit late. Um, I have my alarm set and it didn't go off, so I don't know if it has anything to do with the time change that it didn't go off, but I got sidetracked. I was working on tomorrow's project. Um, but anyway, I got today's project ready for you. And um, just a reminder that my all occasion card class this month is going to be Christmas cards. And it is this Saturday at 11 o'clock here at my house. And um, registration will end this Thursday. I just want to remind everybody because um, I'm doing it a little different. So let's... Um, Go ahead and get started. Here's today's project, and it's a box that has a Russell Stover's um, marshmallow ornament. Like I told you the other day, I went shopping and I was looking for, um, well, I happened to see that they had some Christmas stuff out. So this was one of them. This was a six pack. I did get these at Big Lots, but I'm sure Walmart has them. I was at... Um, Albertsons today and they were putting all of their Christmas candy out so I'm sure everybody's starting to put it out so that's what's inside here I don't want to untie it because I don't want to mess up my bow <laughs> but I will show you so for this one I will post the um project sheet these are all my notes um uh after I do the video because I have to go download it. And today's three pages, but um, I will post that. So be on the lookout for that. We're gonna be using, um, we need 12 by 12 paper for this one. And actually I think I might only need it. Well, I'm gonna cut a piece of 12 by 12. So we're using shaded spruce. And shaded spruce comes in the Regal's 12 by 12 paper. And the reason we need 12 by 12 is because of measurements. I need a sheet uh, piece that's 11 and a half. So when you buy the packs, it'll have the color family in them. So I'm using shaded spruce, but this is out of the Regal's pack. And I write them real big. So that way I don't have to read, well, this one it doesn't say, but I always write real big on my um, thing so I could just look at it really quick and see what's in it. So we are going to first cut, um, let's do the 11 and a half, um, like I said, this is 11 and a half by three. So let me cut this at three. I already have this piece cut, so. And I might grab another, uh, just a regular um, cardstock. 11, no, 11 and a half. I almost cut that at 11. So 11 and a half by three. So we're just gonna cut that half inch off. Um, we're gonna score the long side. I'm gonna go ahead and just use the trimmer since I have it here and I need to cut my next piece. So we're gonna cut this up, or not cut it. We're gonna score it at a half. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong, no, I'm right. Three and a quarter. I'm doing my <laughs> instructions backwards. I should have did my big piece first. Um, so a half, three and a quarter, six, and eight and three quarters. And we're gonna score the short side at one and a half all the way down. Okay, so for the next piece, we need seven and three quarters by, a, by three and a quarter. I'm gonna grab a regular sheet of cardstock. Because I like to save that 12 by 12 just in case I need it for another project. So this is again going to be seven and three quarters by three and a quarter. I can't even read my own writing. Three and a quarter. Yeah, oh yeah, this is the wrap. I was like, why does this piece seem so little? Seven and three quarters. 
cut that off. And then we're going to score this one at three and one eighth and four and five eighths. And this one we are just going to, this one piece will just have a score lines. And so in my instructions, this is, I'm calling this the wrap, the wrap piece, because it's going to wrap around our box. Okay, so for our box, let's burnish all these lines. Let me get my bone folder. And this is actually kind of the same as we did yesterday's lid. Somewhat. But this one is going to be a box. Okay, so remember yesterday, we cut... Let me see, where am I going to go here? We're, we angled this, and then we cut this section off, or we cut a section off. So on the side that you cut the section off, that's going to be the side that you cut your score lines up. Hopefully, that makes sense. So wherever you cut the notch out, that's where you cut your score lines up. Like I said, pretty similar to what we did yesterday on yesterday's project. So we're going to add a piece of tear and tape here. Get my take your pick tool. Take this off. And we are going to just fold this over like that. So now instead of this being a top, it's going to be a box. So there's our box. So we'll go ahead and add some adhesive to these pieces. I haven't used tear and tape as much as I've used it these past six days. I guess because I'm doing a lot of treat packages and I'm not doing actual just cards. So I was like, I already went through a roll, a roll of tear and tape. I just ran out use, uh, working on tomorrow's project. Okay, so let's take the backing off. Take the backing off. One of these sides, you really don't need to put two strips. You can just put one just to kind of, and then the other one, you can use the two. And then we're even going to add some more tear and tape to this, and I'll show you. So, oops, let's use our bone folder to secure that down. Okay, so this is what I'm calling the wrap because this is going to go in here like this. But before we do all that, we have some other stuff to do. So we're going to add a piece of tear and tape. And I probably should have, I flipped my paper over and so it's in centimeters. So this should be three and a quarter. So basically around um, one and three eighths or so between there. Um, just put a piece of tear and tape and not all the way down to the bottom and you'll see why, but just kind of center it. And we're going to put a piece of, again, I don't have my, I say about eight inches of ribbon, Get my ribbon scissors. I use my grid paper a lot to measure, and so I flipped it over and I wasn't paying attention. So this ribbon, we want this, um, the back side of it to be faced up. And we're just gonna tape that in there like that. That's because when we're gonna tie it, it's gonna be showing this way. So basically you could flip this around and do the exact same thing Get a piece of ah, tear and tape. And this one, you could go almost to the edge of it. And now I'm just eyeballing it. But it's basically the same. And we're going to cover it. So let's do another eight inches. And you might not even need eight. Originally, I think I did ten. And I was like, oh, that was way too long. And I cut it off. I had to cut a lot off. So face the back side face up 
and that's going to go like that. So right now, either one could be either way. So now we're going to add some tear and tape to the bottom of the box. You just have to decide which side you want to be your top, what side to be your bottom. They're the same currently until we put our box on. Oops. Okay. Like I said, I haven't used so much tear and tape in so long. Okay, so now our box, and again, it doesn't matter which way that line is, if it's that way or that way, because we're going to cover that up. But so it's up to you how you want to put this in. I just kind of center it and see why we didn't want to put the um, tape all the way to the edge, because this is going to come up. So just center it, making sure you have your even all the way around. Or you can bump this all the way up to the score line. It's totally up to you. I'm eyeballing it because I don't want to stick my head in the camera again. And then just make sure it's all adhered. How's everybody doing tonight? So see, it's going to go right like that. And then we're going to tie it in a bow. But we're not done. And I actually already messed up. Oh, my bad. But we're okay. So now for this inside, we're going to use a two and three quarters by two and three quarters piece of basic white. Because we're going to stamp on it. I think this might already be two and three quarters. Yeah. And then two and three quarters. Oh, my thing, it went up to like I was going to comment. So we're gonna stamp, we are using the Celebrate with Tags um, stamp set. And we're gonna use this Merry Christmas, well, we're gonna use Merry Christmas and we're gonna use Made with Love. So right now we're using Made with Love. So everybody knows that you made it with love and just stamp in the center like so. Whoa, there went my paper trimmer. And now we're gonna go ahead, move that out of the way, and we're gonna glue this on the bottom. And then that way it covers up that other, that seam. And again, this is optional. Some people, that seam won't bother them. But I just like, I like the idea of stamping it and, oops, I might have cut it a little bit too big. Or, you know, your score lines when they're not. But let's make sure that's all down. And then now we can put our chocolate in there. So then that way when they pull their chocolate out, they're going to see made with love. Okay, so... And I believe, remember I bought these similar um, at Halloween and they had different flavors. I just happen to see this pack, so um, they probably have different flavors. So we're still not done in the inside. We're going to cover this piece up with a um, three by three. Oh, I can't even. <clears throat> I think it's three by three, but this looks short. Yeah, this isn't the right let me get a three by three piece of shaded spruce. And you know what? <clears throat> now that I'm thinking about it, we could do this in um, basic white. And then that way you can write on it. And we're just trying to cover up the ribbon. That's all we're doing. But like if you wanted to do it in basic white and write a message on here, that would probably be better. Tell you, when I create, I'm just creating, not really. <laughs> I don't want to say I'm not thinking, but, you know, when you're putting it together, then you're like, oh, I could have did this, or oh, I could have did that. And so we're just covering that ribbon up like so. And the part that I forgot, and we're going to do it now, 
is I'm using the Mary and Brighter Mary Mary Bold and Bright DSP. And I'm gonna use this one with all the different colors. At first I was gonna do follow la 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 la. But since it's going only one direction, part of it will be right side, going the right direction, and then the other side, it would be upside down. So then I said, well, let's just flip it and use the other side. So this is going to be three and one eight. by seven and five eight. Today, it seems like I just don't have enough room on my workspace. Seven and five eighths. So after the half. And before we had, before I had even adhered the ribbon, we should have did this first. And that way, like you don't need the score lines. It's once you glue it on, you could have folded those and then it would have just went right in. It's still going to work, but it's like I just made it harder instead of that piece being flat. And then we can glue this on flat. But that's all. So we're going to leave the little bit of borders and just glue it. Looks like I can move it. Oh, oh whoa, whoa, whoa. I moved it way too much. Ah, don't glue. See, I just made it harder, harder. Now it's, so when you fold it, just go ahead and like squeeze. I got glue on me and then squeeze again. But had I not done it, it would have been much better. All right, let's put our chocolate back in and my fingers are sticky and now we can tie our bow in the front, right there, front and center, like so. And this, we need to flip this around. It's amazing how much a little glue on your fingers makes a difference. Let's try again. So this, and then turn this around when you're doing it so then that way it's on the outside. There, not the greatest bow, but we got a bow. My fingers are just sticky. And where are my ribbon scissors? Cut the ends at an angle and an angle. And there we go. Okay, so there's our box. Now we are going to cut a stitched um, square. This is the only one that we're gonna die cut. I'm using a lot of punches today. I'm making use of my punches. So we're just gonna do one stitch square. And I think this is the second to the um, to the biggest, it's not the biggest, it's the second to the biggest, second to the largest. All right, and I've been using this so much, my plates are really warped. Yesterday I was doing a lot of die cutting. Okay, so we can now put this on with some dimensionals. One, two. Do you guys feel it's too early for Christmas? Or you're okay with Christmas already? As a crafter, you're supposed to be, well, not supposed to be, but usually everything's like a month ahead. This is the first time for me doing this 12 days. And um, it's been a little bit of a challenge. You know, I do my workshop Wednesday and um, that is usually enough for me. So, 
we are going to use, like I said, we're using punches. So this is the decorative circle punch. And we're going to punch out one of those. And this is the handmade tag punch. And we are going to punch out one of those. And since I have all the punches out, I'm using this bow, bow, bow punch. Oh my goodness, I can't talk. And we're going to do two of the flowers in the red, in real red. And then we're going to do two of like the leaves one. And I'm going to mess this whole paper up. I want a thinner piece. Do I have a thinner piece? That way maybe I could get two out of it. Maybe. Maybe not. I probably made this too thin. No, actually that's good. There's one. So this one is probably too thin. I know that's definitely too thin. But I have another piece here. Like this, I just cut this at one and a half. Let's see, one and a half is good. All right, okay, so all those are all our punches. So, what I did is you know, you can use seal on um, the vellum, but pretty much our other this tag, the handmade tag, is gonna um, cover it so. I'm gonna just use a piece of tear and tape to put that on. And it was just, again, to give a layer, add an additional layer. This we are going to stamp Merry Christmas now. And I hope that's centered looks good it's hard when your camera's like right next to your head and you don't want to bump it so this one we're going to go ahead and put on with dimensionals and these punches have made this project so easy because you're not doing a lot of die cutting so then you can um you can make a lot of these especially if you buy that package that's a six pack and they make cute little co-worker gifts. So we're just gonna put that one on there. And now with our glue dots, let me see. It's so weird doing these in the evening. Oh, and then especially now because it's so much darker. You know, usually I do my workshop Wednesday videos at noon. So my lighting is all different. And I know you're getting that big shadow, but hopefully it doesn't. So we're just going to stick these in here. And then we'll stick the red one on top. Without the glue. Sticking to me. And are you guys all adjusted to the time change? Does it bother you? It don't really bother me because I don't have to get up to an alarm clock. If I was working, then it was, I mean, this is my job. So when I get up, I get up. But I'm usually up by seven. And there. So add those. And then now we are going to use the Festive Pearls. And we are going to add some festive pearls. And I chose to use these ones, which I think are, um, oh, that's green. I was thinking it was pool party, so I was using it because see that there? That's pool party, that little dot there. So I thought they were pool. It's supposed to be cherry cobbler, green, silver, and gold. Hmm. I thought it was pool party. So I wanted to put one here, one here, and then one on each corner, just like that. And that is our project. Do you guys think that was pretty easy? 
I mean, not bad. It didn't take a long time. Let me know what you think. There is our project. I didn't forget anything, right? I finally didn't forget something for once. <laughs> I'm not adding Winkastella, which normally I always add Winkastella. But there's our project for today. So be sure and join me again tomorrow at 5 o'clock. And I'm going to go ahead and um, I need to download the... Um, the tutorial and then I will post it right here on this page so you guys will have it just in a little bit some it just like I said before it won't let me um it won't let me just add it on there it won't let me add a file I have to add the link to where the file is and all that so that takes a little bit all right everybody you have a good night and thank you and I hope to see you tomorrow take care bye